you know, whenever I don't know what to do. Rather than get upset. Well, you'll never not be upset, but it's about what you do with it. See, when I don't know what to do, I sit there and fume and think about it a little bit. So I go and call up friends and ask for an opinion. You know? so I worry about it, stress about it. I don't know what to do. You know what I do. I do nothing. I do absolutely nothing. I find a nice spot, patch of grass, and the light here at the end of the tunnel. And I just sit down. I do absolutely nothing. And I don't worry about it. And it takes a moment to find some space and breathe. I might still ruminate a little bit. An idea might come to me. I might pick up the phone and record a silly video. I might find something that triggers me. But eventually we find the light at the end of the tunnel. We step out into a new world. Instead of letting the trigger or the trauma or the pain invade us in our mind and our being instead we simply go through the tunnel and we find the nothing and the space at the end of it all and the space and the nothing is where you'll find something but when you're clouded with fear and anger and judgment and rage and uncertainty and anxiety you'll just get more of that it'll never end only in the space of clarity can we finally see can we finally see again And in this way, we defeat our programming and our conditioning. And we no longer allow our triggers or whatever has upset us to take away who we are, to take away who we really are, to disrupt our peace, our calm, our clarity. We find something else that is in command and in charge. We are above fear. Fear is a lie. Only love is real. Only this space, this energy, is real. You don't see street. You don't see trees stressing the fuck out, do you? These plants. You don't give a fuck. They're real, though. They have energy. They can feel us. They can feel our intention. If you shout at your plants and play rock music, they'll die. But if you speak to them sweetly, in classical music, they'll grow. That's science. Again, science is just trying to figure out what anyone with common sense knew a long time ago. You gotta stop spinning. Spinning around in circles and circles and circles in your head, in your mind. That's where all the traps are. You'll never leave if that's the case. That's how it gets you. You know how populations ruled? Taking over their minds. Getting in their head your TVs and your radios and your shouting noise that tells you what to think over and over and tells you to be afraid. Everything's fear. Have you noticed that? Turn on the news. You ever hear anything good? You ever hear anything uplifting? You ever hear anything that's empowering? No, it's always about red or blue, red or blue, black or white, gay or straight, left or right. This person died today. This person shot somebody today. This person did this. In my reality, I don't see these things. Not saying they don't happen, but when you live in fear, all you're going to see is fear, and the world becomes a scary place. And that's how you become ruled, because then you can't think clearly, then you can't take bold action towards the things you really desire, because you're trapped and locked in fear, a fear state. Maybe turn the radio off, turn the television off, go outside, put your phone down, and observe. What nature has to tell you. I guarantee, I guarantee absolutely, fucking lutely if nothing else, you'll feel a little bit better than if you had done any of those things instead. <laughs> At the least.
maybe you'll come across something, something interesting, some kind of, some kind of new or weird or cool. How are you going to be able to think clearly or get anything done? You got a bunch of voices shouting at you. Whether that's in your head, or whether you're just externalizing what's in your head by listening to the technology that's shouting things at you all the time. Ever wonder why the internet's so fast now? Everything's about fucking 5G, isn't it? 5G, the next gen, as if it wasn't fast enough already. Why do we need instant access to technology at all times? It's a distraction. When you find yourself, when you stop being distracted, you don't need these things anymore. You don't need the distractions. Then you won't want these things anymore. Now you have a new power, a new clarity within yourself. You don't need shouting voices to tell you what the world is or how it looks like because all you have to do is go out and look. Or better yet, go in and look. Go inward and look. If you're still looking for external signs of what's going on in your reality, then you're easily controlled, easily manipulated. Because then... Any Jack or Jane can come along and tell you red or blue, and then you'll believe them. Maybe the truth is purple. Maybe the truth is none of those things. Maybe the truth is a big fucking gray area, but you'll never know it unless you step outside your head, your mind, and into the real world. Take a leap of faith and fly. <laughs> See you, little bye. Good guy. Put that leap of faith into the unknown. A whole lot clearer out here.